Um, in this video, I want to do something a little different than just regular cabinets. I spent a lot of time doing regular cabinets, but with a uh, auto cabinets and a CNC router, especially a ball CNC router, uh, you can do a lot of really creative things just as easy as you can do a bunch of regular cabinets. Uh, so let's create a little locker layout and uh, show you how to do that. I'm going to go to walls, take a wall. This is my wall height. Let's just say I want a wall 118 and three quarter that's either what the architect's drawn or that's what the field measurement was depending on how you want to look at that I'm just going to say draw and here's our wall now I'm going to go to the library we'll go to my commercial and I have a locker I created uh, for this demo we're going to go insert uh, this locker is 24 inches but let's say on this locker I don't want it to be just white melamine I want it to be like a Zebrano wave red uh, uh, so that'll give me a red seating area, red shelves and stuff like that. So we have some school colors in there like the uh, Texas Tech Red Rangers or something like that. I'm going to go select distance on screen and let's say I want four lockers in there which should give me a little bit bigger than 24 inches because I also want to have five inches from each end of the wall to put a uh, crown mold to dress these up, make it look nice uh, for, the, uh, for the team. Uh, so I've got that in there. And then all, all I have to do here is go to insert, select the front of the wall and the end of the wall, pop those in there. Uh, so we have our four cabinets in Madame 27 and 3 sixteenths. Let's go to the moldings. Uh, let me switch the color of this molding to a red, uh, kind of match, match the uh, Texas Tech colors. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, draw and all I have to do is just trace the cabinets. Click OK. So there's our there's our red molding. Uh, my goodness. Uh, we'll go to here's our split view. Here's our elevation, our plan view, our elevation view. Uh, <clears throat> we'll go to our 3D view and there's our uh, red molding again and if we want to render this just to actually sell the job which would be helpful uh, I'm going to click on the little render guy here I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to go to materials and see I threw in this red like the very last minute so I'm going to select that I'm going to go to standard coatings. I'm going to tell I want that to be a, uh, a gloss finish. I'm going to assign that to the red and then save that to the uh, database. And oops, make sure you can see what I'm doing. I'm saving that to the database. Uh, and then also on the walls, they're going to look like they have brick on the walls because I've got brick selected for the walls. Let me move this down so you can see me close that. We'll go to materials. Uh, excuse me, we'll go to the lighting. And I'm just going to put a simple light in there, uh, just something that would reflect and get some, so the room's not dark, just a simple little light. And then I'm going to go ahead and tell it to render that. So there's our rendering. There's our molding along the top. It's, it's reflecting the bricks and the sides of the lockers and stuff like that. And the really cool thing about this now you can actually see the shape real well. And the thing about doing this with the CNC, when you put those lockers together, these are going to be perfect every single time. There's going to be perfectly matching. There's no sanding or anything like that required. You can see my red tops here are the shelves reflecting the bricks off of the uh, wall behind it and stuff like that. Now you can mess around with this and get some really nice renderings, but that'll uh, give you an idea. I'm going to close that. Uh, We'll go to uh, my um, parts here, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to uh, DXF this out, create the G code for this real quickly. Uh, we already have a today's work. I'll create a folder, and we'll call this lockers. And inside lockers, we'll have this. Uh, Uh, Texas Tech. Uh, 
and just hit save. Oops, move this over so you can see it. Hit uh, save here. It's going to go through and break all the lockers apart as individual DXF files. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click OK here. It's bringing up the nesting engine here, so I'm going to go ahead and just tell it to nest. So uh, there's all your uh, parts. Here's all your red materials and stuff like that, all nested together. New to nest all that together, and then the uh, the Zambrano uh, wood grain is all nested too, and it knows it's wood grain, so it knows it can't rotate the pieces. So here's your uh, sides. These are your toe kicks. If you zoom in down here, you can actually see your uh, the lower one is that actual shelf at the very bottom. That's the screws for the shelf. These line of holes above that are the uh, the drawer guide holes for the drawer. I have a drawer down there underneath this thing. So there's your sides all shaped, uh, everything ready to go. And when we go to code here, this will create the the G code for you and label all the parts and stuff like that. If I tell it to pause, you can actually zoom in and see all the CNC operations are done for you and all that. It's just a, it's a done deal. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call us. Thanks a bunch.